503 now. Want to get you to that breaking news we were following this morning out of Michigan, learning at least three students are dead, five more injured after a shooting. This happening at Michigan State University. Yeah, officials have confirmed the suspected shooter is also dead. Now, police say they couldn't find the shooter for a few hours after that shooting happened, but eventually they confirmed he had shot himself. A witnesses say the first shooting happened at an academic building just a few minutes after eight last night, and a second shooting was reported at a student union. The suspected shooter was later found dead off campus. Police and emergency responders acted quickly. We tended to the victims at both of those scenes, and there was a overwhelming law enforcement response to campus to help with this situation. Students will not go back to class for a couple of days, not what any college student should have to experience in their school experience here. You can see folks here walking through campus following that news around 8 o'clock or so last night. I uh, do want to show you these images as well of the suspected shooter released by campus police. Again, they say he took his own life. We don't know much about the suspect at this point other than the fact that he's a 43-year-old. Not clear what his connection, if any, was to the school. And obviously, as we see so often, Often questions about motive as well still unclear as we get new information throughout the morning we will bring that to you right here on Fox 61 breaking overnight in El Paso Texas learning one person is dead three people hurt after a shooting at a shopping mall yeah police say two people are now in custody this morning and police did not comment on a possible motive and they've not provided any details on the condition of those three victims who were hospitalized however the mall is still considered a crime scene this morning and it will remain locked down until authorities complete their investigation all right now police are still trying to figure out exactly where that shooting happened inside the mall we think at the approximate area of the food court, but that's not confirmed at this time right now. We don't know the exact location. Investigators say this shooting happened right next to the Walmart store where 23 people were killed back in 2019. 503 on a Monday. We do have breaking news for you this morning. This out of New Orleans learning one person is dead, four others hurt after a shooting at a Mardi Gras parade in the city. Let's get to what we know at this point. According to police, this all happening last night. Police say the four shooting victims were injured that they are in stable condition. Police did make an arrest and also found two weapons. Not clear at this point. As you take a look at a very crowded scene here, what led up to that shooting, we will keep an eye on that from our breaking news center throughout the morning. Lauren, thank you so much. 503, the man accused of carrying out a deadly mass shooting at a medical facility in Atlanta is somebody we want to point out in custody this morning. Yeah, and I'm sure that is a sigh of relief for many folks yes. out in Atlanta. A 24-year-old Dion Patterson is accused of killing one woman and injuring four other women. Now, police arrested Patterson at around 8 o'clock last night. Uh, check out this video from overhead here. Uh, this aerial video shows him in handcuffs being taken into custody, Keith. Uh, yes, and so according to police, Patterson had an appointment at the medical building and started shooting shortly after he arrived. We know the victims were all women ranging in age from 25 to 71. One woman who was inside the building describing not only what she initially saw, but then the chaos that unfolded. I just heard gunshots. Well, at first I didn't know exactly what that was. I've never been in a situation like that before. And I, I've never seen um, someone shot down either. A couple of my uh, co-workers got shot. Uh, she was just saying she had seen some of her co-workers gotten shot and it was an awful situation, saw blood as well. Investigators revealing the suspect is a former Coast Guard member, a Coast Guard spokesperson saying he was discharged from active duty in January of this year. Well, again, the suspect accused in this shooting is in custody this morning. Yes, all right. Police have yet to release a possible motive in this or if the suspect was connected to any of the victims in really any way.